Hey you guys, it's Jasmine Renee here and welcome back to my channel. So in this video today, I'm showing you how to get this cute, super cute um, fall makeup look. It's kind of like a burgundy-ish, brown, smoky, golden, I don't really know what to call this video. Um, I'm going to figure it out, but yeah. So, if you like it and you're interested in how I achieved it, then just keep on watching. So, per usual, the first thing that I'm going to start off by doing is taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and just taming these eyebrows. So, I'm using just the Professional um, Primer by Benefit Cosmetics. Um, and as you know, this one is pretty good for minimizing pores and just giving you a really nice and smooth canvas to work with. And if you don't have an eyeshadow base, you can always use concealer. Um, that's just kind of like what I use when I like get lazy or whatever. So yeah, just a nice alternative in case you don't have an eyeshadow base. Um, but yeah, so we are using our Morphe 350 palette. Um, I just have been really enjoying this palette and you know exploring all the awesome colors that it has and just realizing that they're like they're bomb for like fall looks. So yeah, it just has really awesome. It just has really awesome like warm tones and earth tones in it and I just think that it's really, I don't know, they're really great for like everyday looks and I don't know, I just love it. To get started, I am going to use this color right here and I'm just going to put that in my crease and kind of work that in there. And basically we're just going like, to pretty much like build colors on top of each other. Next, I'm going to take this, it's kind of like a reddish brown color, and put it on top of it, and work that into my crease as well. I'm going to go in with like this orange reddish color here, and work that into my crease. And we're basically building this up to be kind of like this red orangey uh, crease color here. I'm using this Morphe M135 and we are going to take this dark brown color here and pop that on our lid. So now we're just going to blend everything together so we can get rid of those harsh edges. So using my Carly Bible palette, um, I think I'm going to take one of these like, mm, I don't know. I ended up just going with uh, this gold right here. I think that pretty much brought it together. I think it looks really nice and all that good stuff. So, but anyway, so I'm going to move on to the Wayne eyeliner and um, I have been struggling with this for quite a while, but I think I figured out like how to do it. I don't know. We're about to figure it out, but I usually like to take mine like up, but I think I should take it more out. So I'm going to try that technique today. So hopefully that works. I'm gonna get this winged eyeliner down one day. I don't what day I don't know, but um you know we're just gonna roll with it because I mean I put it on my face now, so uh yeah. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes too. I'm 
All right, so my foundation of choice today is the matte, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation. Um, I just kind of been picking this one up a lot lately. Um, it's just a really nice full coverage drugstore foundation, and it really gets the job done as far as coverage and things like that. So I'm gonna go in with my NYX HD concealer. Uh, it's in the color CW06. Now for our creamy contour, we're gonna pretty much still use what I normally use, which is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Cafe. I do plan on going to my local beauty supply store soon and picking up some LA Pro, LA Girl Pro concealer and start using that. So now, um, instead of baking, I'm just pretty much trying to like set those places because I've figured out that baking kind of like makes things a little bit drier, but um, yeah, so I'm using my airspun loose face powder to set all these faces and I'm using my real techniques setting or face setting powder brush and then I'm going to use my contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I know I normally use my elf blush bronzer palette or whatever but I'm going to go back in with this one I usually use the two outer darker ones and kind of mix them together. I think you're gonna have to be I am going to go in with the L'Oreal, not L'Oreal, the Lori Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. And just put that all over. And then I'm going to go in with this red color here and kind of try to apply that on my cheeks. And then just to finish up all over, I am going to take my usual Too Faced Cocoa Powder or the All Over Face Powder and just finish the face off. So I'm just going to go in with um, K by Colourpop. Then I'm just going to spray my face using the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Setting Spray. Alright you guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I'm so excited that fall is here and um, yeah. I just can't wait to layer up and put on some fun, cute clothes and cozy up in some sweaters and all that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So let me know how much you liked it and share it and all that good stuff with your friends and everyone else um, to let them know how much you liked it. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos. Um, other than that, I hope you guys... Uh, have an awesome day and I will see y'all in my next video.